Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at my Node Red Wi Fi setup. Um, this is quite a large thing, so I kind of wanted to take a quick overview on it. I'm not going to be able to upload the code or show you any of that kind of stuff, but I think it's something beneficial that you'll be able to do yourself um, and implement into your own environment if you see fit. So I've gotten a lot of um, interest in my free radius videos in the past, and this is actually a fully automated Node Red free radius system where when someone creates an account, it'll actually send an email to them, send an email to some people, some administrators to approve it, as well as log it with all kinds of different logging databases. So I kind of want to go over all the features that I've added to this and all that it does, because I think it could give you some inspiration on what you could do personally or at your organization and company. So let's begin here. This is the um, actually the Wi-Fi sign-up application. So this is on this is a form that is on a website somewhere um, on the internet that is linked to this endpoint. And basically, it'll take it in. It's going to format all of the data. Um, this is literally just a bunch of parsing here. As you can see, these are just all strings, and this is lowercasing the last name. So it's essentially formatting it in a way that I want. And I'm actually storing all of these submissions into a database. Um, a SQL database. Uh, I'm not going to be able to show you. Obviously, this is a live production environment, so I'm not going to show you any of that kind of stuff, but it keeps track of the user's username, password, name, email address, probably, I think, phone number maybe, birthday, as well as a few other categories that help define kind of their purpose for the organization and what they need access to. This system does support dynamic VLAN assignment, which means it'll actually um, fully automatically assign a VLAN based on the user's team or group, um, and that will be assigned weekly based on a scheduling software that I've integrated to this um, as well. Um, and as well as there's also just general staff logins um, that staff members use. Um, once they, And that's created during their onboarding process, they'll get a login to the Wi-Fi system and that will just stay on the staff VLAN. Um, but there are like other people in the organization that have different levels of access based on VLANs that are controlled solely by Node-RED. So the next thing I'd like to show you is the reload database. So this kind of helps explain the system a little bit. So this is also a Node-RED flow right here. Essentially what it's doing, it's taking an input and it's doing all of these things at once. So it looks like the primary radio server might have an error right now. I'll look into that. But um, so the system essentially consists of three radio servers. They're all in Azure. They're all hosted through an Azure virtual machine. Two of them run the standard authentication for the Wi-Fi network across a few different sites. Um, there's a primary, a backup, and as well as a secondary. And the secondary is for MAC address authentication. So there's an IoT network at the building, and the IoT network also hands out VLANs based on MAC addresses of clients. So that takes care of all of that. So there's some clients in the database that are MAC address, that the username is a MAC address, just because that is what it's for. So essentially the MAC address accounts are type 2 accounts, is how I'm kind of calling them. Those are all deployed to the secondary radius server and the secondary radius server only. The primary backup radius um, get the type one accounts. So essentially what this does is this goes through the SQL databases on all of these servers at once, deletes the current live databases, um, and reinserts the new data into the tables, and then it goes and reloads free radius. Um, it's actually done entirely live every time there's a change that's made. Uh, there's no downtime at all. Um, this is partially made true because of the primary and backup radius servers, but also because free radius is pretty good at doing a soft reload and staying online during the reloading of the data. So um, that's been super beneficial to us because there's no downtime when we want to make account adjustments and we're not relying on Active Directory or LDAP because this organization actually does not have Active Directory or LDAP. So this is kind of a good alternative solution that is, like I said, entirely ran by me. So we also have a few accounts that I have created this kind of module or macro for that um, every day it runs and it re rotates the passwords on some certain like service accounts that I have. So these accounts are just for temporary use only for that day because um, obviously the password will regenerate the next day. And if I should take a look here, you'll see I have a bunch of different adjectives and some numbers that it's going to generate as well. So it's going to generate an adjective and a four digit number. This is just JavaScript right here. Um, and then it's going to take that and then insert one of the adjectives alongside a number, and that will be the password to the account. 
So there's a few accounts that just allow printing access or just allow um, other levels of access, I guess you could say, different VLANs, um, and those do rotate daily just through this that you see here. So in addition to that, um, I also do have a bunch of um, different forms that are on an admin portal, um, and these forms basically go through and they control the databases. So um, there's one that registers new MAC addresses, that deletes type one accounts, reactivates type one accounts, manually creates type one accounts, resends a user the login, Archives accounts, reactivates, approve accounts um, at a WireGuard client. That's kind of what I'm testing right now. Um, the reload database, manual rotate of the daily password accounts, um, the service accounts, and log editor access. So if an editor logs in, it'll log it. Um, as well as the scheduling software has the mapping right here. And I believe this actually just reloads the macro that runs the scheduling software. It pulls the report from the scheduling software. I can actually show you here. I'm gonna have to blur out a few things on the screen, but essentially what this is doing here is it's pulling the report from the scheduling software on anybody that is scheduled to be there at the organization that week. Um, and it's going to pull them, assign them the new VLAN. And anybody that had that VLAN last week is not gonna get it any longer unless obviously they are scheduled for that new week. So that's kind of how this works. It's very complicated, but I've had actually zero issues with it. It's been super reliable. It's actually been very impressive. Um, in addition to that, I do some fun things as well. So I'm using the system to pull a list of birthdays. This is not directly related to the free radius stuff. I apologize, but I thought it was kind of cool. I wanted to throw this in there. Um, but yeah, that is essentially everything that I've got going on here. If you go back, I have all kinds of different validation nodes as well. So it's actually um, looking at the different messages and if the count of certain submissions is greater than one, um, it's actually going to invalidate it, which means that way it prevents duplicate accounts being created. Um, obviously this doesn't run like two at the same time. If there's two accounts that get submitted at pretty much the same time, it's probably going to struggle, but still have not had the issue. And if I do, I can just put a rate limiter for like one per five seconds or whatever. It really should not matter. But this is some super reliable, so the free radius servers actually just rely solely on their SQL databases. So at any point, this node red dashboard could go offline. And the worst case is we have no management of the Wi-Fi database um, until it comes back online. But we've had, like I said, zero issues with it so far. It's been extremely, extremely reliable. So this is just super cool stuff. Like I said, I even set it up that way. It sends an email to administ administration to approve new accounts. Um, it shows them a name their requested team or network, um, as well as other information that they might need on the email, and just a single click approves an account for the Wi-Fi system. So, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. It's kind of just a show and tell. I can't go into too much detail. Um, if this is something that does get a lot of interest though, I'm totally willing to make another version of the system that I can share publicly. Um, because I do think this could be beneficial to any organization at a personal level, small business, etc. Be amazing. Um, Node Red is just super versatile, and I know you can script these things easier um, sometimes. But for what I'm doing, it's super easy, especially for a non like techie to come in. They can click on different um, things. They can see the code. It's pretty easy, in my opinion, to modify it. Yeah, that is about all for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, I will do my best to answer any questions that you have. It's a very complicated system and I tried my best to explain it. But like I said, if you do have any questions, leave them down below. I will do my best to answer them as well. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. I will see you in the next video.